the next theorem that we are going to see is uh, we are given a set consisting of a sequences the elements uh, the entries in the sequences are zeros and ones okay uh, if we have a set of this kind the set is uncountable that is what we need to prove okay uh, sequence whose elements are zeros and ones which means what if you take uh, suppose a is going to consist of sequences like this okay all the sequences if you write the first term it may be 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 these are like uh, these are the elements in the sequences right okay uh, we have a, a set of this kind and we have to prove this set is uncountable okay uh, when do we say a set is uncountable if it is not countable then we can say it is uncountable okay only we say not countable is enough we have to make we have to first assume that this set is infinite one okay if the set is infinite and it is not countable then we can categorize the set as uncountable okay first let us uh, try to say the set is an infinite set how do we say the set is an infinite set okay it is given that this consists of all sequences okay all possible sequences whose elements are zeros and ones okay with the help of zeros and ones we can form infinite number of sequences isn't it okay i have this way and it is going still going okay suppose uh, let me have one 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 zero 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 one one and it goes this way okay in this way i can collect infinite number of sequences and all such sequences are present in this set a okay so that guarantees that my set a is infinite okay next next i have to prove the set is not countable okay how do we prove it is not countable think for a moment if it has to be proved that the set is countable we may define a mapping from j to a uh, okay, J to A and prove that mapping is 1, 1 and non 2 by proving that it can be set countable. Uh, if the elements can be arranged in a sequence, then also we can say the set is countable. But here, we have to say it is not countable. Okay. While explaining the previous corollary, after that corollary, I have given you something. Can you recall it? Yes. It is that uh, no subset of no like uh, if you have an uncountable set only the proper subset can be countable okay the point that I am trying to convey here is suppose if you have a a subset B okay in general if we say subset it, it can be either proper or improper okay in the improper case suppose i have b is equal to a this set is uncountable but this is countable means it cannot be it cannot be possible at all because if it is equal it has to be so right but in this case okay i have b is a subset of a and my a is uncountable my b is countable if this is so what will happen it clearly tells me that b cannot be equal to a and this b has to be a proper subset of a so the point that we have to collect from this idea is only the proper subsets can be countable the improper set cannot be countable if that is so we can say the set is uncountable okay uh, in order to prove this we are going to use something called Cantor diagonalization process okay uh, while going in the proof I will explain what this Cantor diagonalization process is okay let me consider a countable subset okay this is 
countable subset of a okay the choice of e was arbitrary as of now i have not fixed any e i have randomly taken some e okay and this is considered to be the countable subset of a now what i have to prove is that i need to prove e is e is a proper subset of a e cannot be improper that is what i have to say here okay in order to prove e is a proper subset of a i need to identify some element okay uh, i need to identify some element in a but that is not a member of e i have to identify some element like this okay since e is assumed to be countable the elements of e can be arranged as a sequence okay i have this way uh here uh i have considered elements in this form you may consider as you wish but only zeros and one has to be there okay zero one zero one zero one zero one zero goes this way s four is equal to zero one one zero one one zero it can be any random choice okay it goes this way now you have to form some sequence s in the way that if the nth entry in the nth element is 1 you have to turn it to 0 and vice versa let me repeat if the nth entry in the nth sequence is 1 you have to change that to 0 and vice versa which means okay in the first sequence i have 0 here so my s is going to have 1 in the first position if it is 0 it has to be 1 okay in s2 my second value is 1 so here i am going to have my second value as 0 okay in s3 my third value is 1 so in the third value of s i am going to have 0 in the fourth sequence i have 0 at the fourth position so i will have 1 okay i have to consider this way the construction of this s is following this scatter diagonalization process Okay, when you construct a sequence by Cantor diagonalization process, uh, this is not a member of E. But this is going to have only ones and zeros, right? So of course this is a member of A. So you have identified some element which is in A but not in E. Okay, that is what you need to prove this tells you e is a proper subset of a so since the choice of e was arbitrary okay since the choice of e was arbitrary and it was proved to be a proper subset of a this tells you only the proper subset of a can be countable which means a is not countable that is a is uncountable okay this theorem actually in this theorem what we have proved is that set of all real numbers is uncountable how uh, we all know that any real number can be written as a uh, sequence of zeros and ones in binary number system okay so that is what we have proved a number in binary number system is uncountable okay using that idea we say that set of all real numbers is uncountable so in the number system what we had n okay n w z q r c okay till this we have countability this is uncountable therefore these two are set of all real numbers and the set of all complex numbers are uncountable okay 
so uh, i am going to give you an exercise uh, we have actually we have a corollary or a result based on this that is you have to prove set of all irrational numbers is uncountable okay we have something in between these two okay this q is a proper subset of r so when, uh, just a minute you have uh, this q is a proper subset of r therefore if this is your entire real okay uh, this may be your q you have something apart from this q that usually we denote by q complement and this consists of irrational numbers now we know that this r is uncountable this is countable okay you have to prove this q complement is uncountable 